teams from Kidderminster Harriers and your F3 United. Kidderminster, we'll hustle and harry in Epps fleet now, and then all the ball will come through, that's our offside, and he's going through here, and this could be the first goal, he's down the left hand side, and, it, and he tries to get the shot away, and that's a good shot in the edge, it's nil-nil here, it's Kidderminster, it's a Epps fleet nil, Kidderminster nil. Here are Harry is again, edge of the box, Hemmings with a shot, instinctive, Drop his shoulder there, Lee. He just about fox the F Street man, and then he gets the ball forward to McDonough. Oh, and then he lays it off here to Hemmings, and it's Hemmings, it's two against one. Uh, he's got to support, and the shot is away. And again, it's over the stand. McDonough on his uh, right hand shoulder. McDonough has to come back up to the halfway line because it's not just two, three F Street players uh, trying to dispossess him, and suddenly the ball is through, and this is a chance here. And he's Zach Brown tries to uh, get the ball under control on the edge of the box. And uh, Brown just couldn't get his uh, footwork right. And certainly, despite them having to suck up all this pressure, they're the ones who are having the chances on goal. Oh, that's a lovely curled effort. And here is uh, the keeper to come out, Dibble. He has to make two attempts at it. And in the end, the shot is wide. It's time. Christian Pierce gets ahead on it. That's a good tackle by Tanner, and now Polion is chasing it. And Polion edge of the box, chips it over the keeper, and that was delightful from the Edsley goal uh, striker. And he uh, opens up Edsley's account here, chipped over the on-rushing Dibble, and it's now Edsley one, Kidderminster Harry is nil, with what to 24 minutes on the clock. Edsley again with Poli on, left-hand side, he's got Tanner for company. It's a tackle by Alex Penny, and he had his foot high there, Penny, and he's going to get a yellow card, in fact he does. So, Jamie O'Connor Brandis in the yellow. And that, uh, so Harry like kicks the red shirts, white shorts. Oh, he's going to do some commentator, all they through again, Poli on! Could this be a second? It is! Cool as you like. Two or three touches on the edge of the box. And then there he was again, Dominic Collion. He's looked lively all afternoon in front of goal. Back to Dibble, traditional green goalkeeper's shirt of his and the navy shorts, navy socks. Harry is aware of this afternoon, that flash of yellow and navy. Now is that uh, uh, Kaling for a back tackle here, Alex Penny? So. Here because it's his second yellow, isn't it? It is Alex Penny. And Harry is here, going to be down to 10 men. And Dominic Polliard as well. Why not? Have you scored two goals on a hat trick? But suddenly the ball bounces into the uh, absolute half and it's chased by McDon McDonough. He hasn't got support, tries to get the ball across uh, the face of the goal. Then he has Zach Brown. Does a little uh, step over. Oh, it's a good hard shot. Good save as well. Had to parry that away. Hemmings with the second ball. And the shot dribbles past the right hand side. But good effort there by Zach Brown. That's the best effort so far. And toying with uh, Kidderminster at the moment as they got a corner here with a minute to go in the first half. It's Harry is two, it's uh, Epsweet two, Harry is nil. Corners didn't go anywhere. Edge of the box, headed away. There is. Wakely, a oh, little chip and a little pink ball in. That was just too easy, almost like a golfer chipping onto the green. And then it was just tapped away for Epsley's third goal. A good header this time by Harriers. Wally is far as uh, Polion, who gets a McQueen rushing forward to the edge of the box. And he plays the ball across the goal. It's a shot over the bar. That could have been the fourth, so, so close for Epsfleet. It was Ben Chapman who puts his head in his hands. 
and then looking to cause havoc at the edge of the box. He's through to the uh, substitute almost, and here's Tano with the shot off the keeper. Uh, it was off the midriff of Christian Dibble. It's before half time here. The overall result. There's still time here for Harriers to get a shot away, and they do through Lissimore, the substitute. That was better from Kidderminster into the final third, dead centre. Out to O'Neill on the right hand side. O'Neill plays the edge of the box. Zach Brown read that one early though. Oh, and then he loses the ball. He just stands still, Brown. And here comes O'Neill with the cross, and then the shot. How did he miss? It's from two yards out. Well, I can tell you, we're <laughs> 87 and a half minutes. Anyone knows me from my Worcester Warriors days. To be out late to find the great clock. Here is McQueen. Uh, he's found the ball, and then it's uh, Tanner, who was just running onto the ball and almost just uh, let it fly off his boot. Getting purchased behind it, just let this, the momentum of the ball. McNally, the substitute, to the right hand side. And there is the final whistle. You have to say, could have missed Harriers put out of their misery because uh, it hasn't been a good afternoon for the men from uh, North Worcestershire. They've lost here 3-0, Ebbsfleet United 3, Kidderminster Harriers.